Merefi has just come out with its interims and Merefi it generates its income from ferrochrome of course and it's got a JV with Extrata. It's called the Extrata Merefi Chrome Venture and we're going to cross now to the Power Lunch JSE Studios to speak to the CEO of Merefi on these numbers and that's Zanelli Maklala. Zanelli, thanks very much for joining us. I know that this is your first report as CEO. How have you settled in uh, during this period? Uh, you are right. It is my uh, my first uh, set of results, and I've settled in quite well uh, because I've had the advantage of being with the company for two years before being appointed as CEO. Okay, let's have a look at the numbers now. Your revenue is down seven percent. Your profit was one hundred and thirty-eight million, and you had a fifty-seven percent increase in basic earnings per share. So, a pretty good number considering the challenges that you're facing. I mean, uh, I suppose that the rand has been the first thing that has really boosted those earnings per share, a weakening trend, and that's obviously very good for you. Yes, indeed. I mean, the rand is a contributing factor uh, because uh, it. The exchange rate uh, weakened by about 14 percent. That contributed to positive results, uh, but also, uh, the, you know, in terms of costs, we've managed to keep our costs down uh, because uh, when we had those uh, power buybacks from ESCOM, we actually only operated the more efficient uh, furnaces and therefore kept our costs down. Yeah, the other thing that, uh, actually let's focus on that ESCOM story. How much longer is this situation going to be in place between yourself and ESCOM? Uh, it has actually come to an end as at the end of May. Uh, it was an arrangement that lasted between uh, February and May. So at the end of May it came to an end. And uh, currently we in just winter uh, months where uh, anyway the power tariffs are more expensive so production is being curtailed. Uh, to deal with that uh, more expensive uh, power prices. Especially on days like this, uh, Zanelli, because I understand it's been snowing up in Johannesburg. It's pretty, uh, pretty chilly down here as well. Ferrochrome production over the period down 21%. Your costs of ferrochrome production up 4.5%. Uh, as you said, they have been contained. Uh, do you anticipate that ferrochrome production will actually be boosted after, the, after this period, particularly with the ESCOM story coming to an end? Uh, it should be boosted uh, when we come out of winter months. At the end of August, we get to the um, more, at the end of the more expensive tariff. Um, then we get to September. We should start ramping up production about that time. And Chrome Ore that's increased its uh, influence on the company's earnings. It's gone from 11 to 11 percent to 14 percent. Is that also because of the weaker rand and, and exports, and also because of the fall off in in ferrochrome production? The major factor is the fall off in, in the uh, ferrochrome production because uh, for the first six months production was um, around the 60% mark uh, and therefore you would have had excess uh, chrome ore which uh, as a business decision made sense to, to export that. The commodity sector in general, Zanelli, has been under enormous pressure for quite a while now. I mean, some of the commodities that we report on every day on CNBC Africa are down 20, 25 percent. The ferrochrome price itself has fallen from 130 down to 125. Do you see it stabilizing or is there further downside, do you think? Uh, there are a number of factors that uh, influence the, the price. I mean, one of them is the exchange rate and then there's uh, demand and then there's the chrome ore exports into China. So given all those factors, we are still hopeful though that uh, the stainless steel is, uh, production is expected to grow and therefore on the back of that we expect uh, ferrochrome demand to also grow and, uh, and from that it's, it would suggest that price should uh, stabilise. So you think, I mean, let's have, get your sort of prospect statement, if you would. The next six months, do you think, given all the uh, positive factors that we've, you've alluded to over the last few minutes, do you think that the results are going to be boosted uh, between now and uh, end of 2012? Uh, it would be very difficult to say because, um, you know, the other factors you can't really determine at this stage. It depends on what the exchange rate is. It depends on how the uh, Eurozone issues are resolved. And finally, Zanelli, very, very finally, this, the SARS, you, you put out a SENS announcement on the 6th of March, I think it is. What is your situation with the, the, the revenue service at the moment? Um, at, at the moment, uh, initially we, we had a, an assessment uh, which we objected to. 
and that was withdrawn by SARS. And where we are now, we are engaging SARS to just try and resolve the matter once and for all. But um, you would have seen in our results, uh, the initial assessment was 112 million that was withdrawn and uh, a, a letter of assessment issued for about 25 million. Uh, but we are engaging SARS because we believe we've got uh, legitimate grounds to challenge that. And uh, hopefully by the time we report um, our year-end results, uh, this matter should have been put to bed. Zanelli, thanks very much for your brief time this lunchtime. That's Zanelli Matalala, who is the CEO of Marafi, whose interim results to the end of June were released uh, earlier.